Hi, I'm Emily Rose. And I'm Dan Philgreen. Welcome to Shell Point Today for Wednesday, October 24th. We're bringing the goods today, including a look into next week's Oktoberfest celebration. So not only are we going to have the music from the band, we are going to have little miniature bratwurst, sauerkraut, mustard, some hot pretzels. We learn all about the benefits of the CapTel telephone service. And, and then the person with the CapTel phone is able to not only hear the conversation, but they're able to read on the screen what the person is saying. And Dan Perkins sits with Terry Kolak to preview his academy program on memory loss. So I go in there the first time, and the instructor who's published 12 novels said you'll find out in two weeks if you can be a writer. But first, we're taking the plunge for a look back on this day in history. It was October 24th, 1901, when Annie Edson Taylor hopped into a wooden pickle barrel and became the first person to plunge over Niagara Falls. Taylor, a 63-year-old school teacher, was strapped for cash and looking for fame after the turn of the century. She came up with the idea of becoming the first person to successfully survive the fall after reading about the growing popularity of Niagara Falls in a magazine. With the help of two assistants, Taylor lined the barrel with cushions and used leather straps to keep her from shifting. A small boat drifted her into the river, and less than 20 minutes later, she would plummet 175 feet down the Horseshoe Falls, smashing onto the rocky waters below. Despite gaining national attention, Taylor never achieved the monetary success she dreamed of when beginning her free-falling journey. That's a pretty crazy story. A lot of people tried it. Yeah. Not too many made it. I was thinking it was like the polar plunger you jump into the ocean no, when it's cold. That's pretty tame compared to this. Yeah. Well, speaking of soaring over the falls, get ready to soar tomorrow as part of the latest installment of the Aviation Club. Retired Lieutenant Colonel Bob Carden will be the special guest to detail the story of Glacier Girl. Learn how this World War II fighter airplane was recovered from 268 feet below the surface of a glacier in Greenland after being buried for over 50 years. Carden will share his personal involvement in this amazing recovery, restoration, and flying of this historic airplane. This is an aviation club meeting you won't want to miss, so make sure you find yourself in the social center at 1 p.m. for this detailed look into Glacier Girl. Also happening tomorrow is the Academy presentation about sea turtles. Join Christy Anders, Education Director of the Sanibel Captiva Conservation Foundation, as she leads this program that will talk about these endangered species and how Southwest Florida plays a crucial role in their future. Learn about the loggerhead turtles that populate the region and the newcomer 700-pound leatherbacks that are turning up on Sanibel. This is an amazing presentation about some of the most amazing animals in the Gulf of Mexico. If you have a passion about conservation, or if you just want to learn about sea turtles, then register for this discussion happening at 10 a.m. in the Grand Cypress Room. The Bounty of Academy programs this fall is unmatched. From art to turtles, Terry has been busy putting together an amazing fall semester. She's returned to the studio to chat with Dan Perkins about his upcoming presentation that is essential for anyone dealing with memory loss issues.